What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making the Georgia top, which is a reversible scoop neck, pretty basic style top. Now this can be used as a sports bra or as a swim top, so it's pretty versatile. And this is what the pattern looks like. It is available now if you go to edgewateravenue.com. We're going to be using our regular materials, namely swimwear fabric, swimwear elastic, and just basic swimwear sewing tools. If you're not sure what tools you need for sewing swimwear, then I will link a blog post where I outline everything that you could possibly need for sewing swimwear. So the first step is going to be cutting out our pieces. I'm going to cut one of the front and one of the back in this green fabric. As usual, when cutting out your pattern pieces, you are going to leave a quarter inch of seam allowance, as seam allowance is not included in the pattern. And once I've done that, I'm going to go in and cut my band. If you're wondering what band size you should get, it is on the pattern. For a size medium, I made mine 26 inches. And I made mine about 2 inches wide. So then I'm going to go into my other fabric, which will be the reverse side. And I just did the same thing. I cut a 2 inch wide by 26 inch long band piece. Then, of course, I'm going to go back in my other fabric and cut one in the front and one in the back. So now that we have all of our pieces, we can continue with the tutorial. So before I start sewing, I'm going to trim my band piece. Since I want this to be reversible, I'm doing things a little bit differently. So the band is actually going to be cut into two, one that will attach to the front and one that will attach to the back. So cut your band pieces and then pin them to the back and to the front with right sides together. And I'm just attaching this band with a overlock stitch. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. Then once I've done it with the green fabric, I'm just going to repeat the exact same steps with my other fabric, my print fabric. So if you're using two different fabrics or if you're using a lining, you'll just make sure to repeat the same steps with this self as you would with the lining piece. So now this is what we have. And next step, we're going to match up our backs with our backs and our fronts with our fronts right sides together and we're just gonna go in and pin all along the open edges so I'm pinning both of the shoulder holes I'm pinning the neckline and I'm also gonna go in and pin the bottom line as well I 
And then for the back, you're gonna do the exact same thing. Pin the shoulder holes, the back, as well as the bottom. And we're gonna sew across all of those areas that we just pinned. It's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Drive a faster car. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town once you've sewed those areas, you're gonna go in with our swimwear elastic and just sew it right on top. I like to put my elastic on the side of which I'd like to be turned out the most. So I'm liking this print fabric, so I'm gonna attach my elastic onto the side with the print fabric. If I wanted the neon green to stand out more, then I would attach the elastic onto that side. However, as you'll see in the end, it doesn't make a huge difference as to what rolls over, which is part of why it's still reversible. So once you've completed that, you're going to take your back piece to the right side out. You're then going to insert it inside of the front piece with right sides together. You were not the guy I thought. Now I'm beating you at your own. And you're going to line it up so the sides match up as well as the straps. Time you slam the door, I would be the richest girl alive. Alive. But you didn't know me. All you wanted was a game to play. Pin the sides, the two straps, and the other side. Yeah, I beat you at your game. And if you were me, you would do- I didn't show this on camera, but I did go back and seam rip a hole in the shoulder area where I would usually put a tag. I made the hole about one inch, and this is what we're gonna use to take the suit back to the right side. Hey, you didn't want me. All you wanted was a game to play, and you couldn't handle
But for now, you're gonna sew these straps and these sides together. As you're sewing, you're gonna be sewing across four layers of fabric. So now through the hole that I left, I'm just going to pull the suit all the way back out. And as a usual last step, I am going to go in and finish off that hole with an invisible stitch or a top stitch. And if you want to put a clothing label in, then now would be a really good time to do that. And here is the final product. This top is a great basic, it can be worn as a bikini top, but it can also be worn as a sports bra, which I've been doing a lot lately. It has a lot of coverage, and it has thick straps, which is great for larger breast sizes. If you wanted something with a little less coverage, you can actually wear the back as the front. That way, you'll have a much lower scoop and get a little more cleavage. And as you can see, I'm wearing it on the neon green side when my elastic was attached to the print side. And it doesn't make a huge difference. There are some areas where the print just slightly peeks out, but the overall look is definitely still reversible. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. If you're not subscribed, definitely do so now because we have a lot of fun plans for this winter. And every 10,000 subscribers, I give away a free pattern. So make sure to click that subscribe button, like this video if you like this tutorial, and I will see you next time. I have been